welcome to the inaugural video on my YouTube channel. I don't expect to become the next YouTube star, don't even want to. The purpose of uh, doing what I'm doing here is twofold. We purchased a cabin not far from here that um, we take possession of uh, very early in January and it, uh, it needs some work. So I'm going to chronicle some of that work here on this channel, uh, mainly for my own purposes, something I can reflect on uh, mistakes, successes, failures. So the second thing is uh, a series of how-to videos um, for guests, for the girls. What do they do when they go up to the cabin? How do they open it up? How do they close it? All that sort of thing. It'll be uh, hopefully packaged in a nice, easy format, watchable on YouTube, uh, available through your smartphone. That's uh, that's the goal. I'm gonna do my best to keep all the systems as simple as possible: the electrical system, the water system. And uh, there's a lot of work to be done. A few of the big ticket items are the roof. Uh, the shingles are quite literally curling up and flapping in the wind. It's um, only a 14 year old roof because it's only a 14 year old cabin. However, that is something that is going to need to happen in short order. Uh, we've called it a medium priority. We could probably get away with a year maximum two before it becomes critical. I haven't decided yet whether we'll do metal or re-shingle but it's likely something that I'll do myself to save the boku bucks that it would cost to contract out. A bunkie is a huge huge ticket item. Uh, the cabin is a one bedroom 550 maybe 600 square feet. Uh, it's got a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. It would sleep four maximum. So we're social people. We'd like to have lots of company, share our experiences uh, around nature and on the lake. And in order to do so, a bunkie is an absolute must. So the goal with the bunkie is as follows. Here's the mission statement. We want to create a space that people do not want to leave. That is the mission statement. So, you know, I've got uh, something in my mind's eye. I've done a few sketches, um, thinking a 12 by 16 uh, footprint with high ceilings, uh, maybe on a 45 degree pitched roof. So that would give us six feet of headroom in a little loft that could work well for kids and have a little uh, ladder go up to that. Uh, I've already specced out a small wood stove but the smallest one I could find because anything bigger would just it would, it would be so so hot in there. Um, it's actually a wood stove that is created for uh, sailboats in a marine environment and uh, you know we want lots of wood we don't want any any harsh tones or any harsh feel like no drywall nothing like that you know but the biggest ticket item in terms of probably both dollars and urgency is the electrical uh, we are inheriting four batteries, a charge controller, two solar panels, and an inverter that has literally just a plug on it. Um, so I don't, not even clear on how the electrical panel ties into that. It's, it's still a mystery. Anyway, what I do know is that we are, um, or the system is uh, inadequate for our use. We want to be able to you know, boil a kettle when we need to use the microwave. These things can't happen with uh, the system that, that we're being left. So once uh, the plan is as follows. Um, 
We are going to uh, increase the capacity of the power by doubling up the batteries. We are going to add a pure sine wave inverter that's also a charger so that if we have a series of days that are kind of like this, you know, late in the season, there's not a lot of sun and the solar is not keeping up to the demands of the electrical use of the property. Uh, the system will automatically kick on the propane generator which would in turn charge the batteries up to where we need them. So all that said there's quite a number of pieces that uh, need to be installed uh, thinking of building a power shed and um, parking all this equipment inside it. So we still have uh, you know it's six weeks ish until we take possession of the joint and um, gives me time to do a lot of planning and actually build some stuff um, I've sourced the generator already I've got some MDF and some sound deadening material to build a cabinet I will go inside the power shed I've got um, a pair of duct fans that will help with the airflow because uh, clearly a combustion engine needs air to keep it from overheating and, of course, keep it running. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it for now. Um, first video, I'll get into specifics about all this stuff uh, in future videos. I don't really know. I want to keep video editing at a minimum. Um, so I'll probably just take these clips largely, post them raw. Uh, maybe cut out some fluff if I tend to ramble on <laughs> certain topics. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe and smash the like button.